Welcome back to Houston, Texas at the Toyota Center where we continue Southland Conference Basketball Media Day and Sam Houston State's men's basketball coach Jason Hooten. Let's go ahead and look at your season 21 and 15 overall 12 and 6 in the Southland. You guys had an outstanding season coming off of 20 plus wins also advancing to the semifinals of the 2018 CIT tournament. That's where I want to start with you today coach Hooten. When you come off of a season like that I know that your guys are hyped up. You want to repeat. What's been your approach this offseason in order to do so? I think the same uh, approach that we have every year. Uh, obviously we feel like um, sustaining the culture that we have and, you know, guys coming in, working hard every day, trying to get better, um, you know, and as you said, having that momentum of coming off the CIT Final Four, I think all those things play a big part in it. Let's talk about some of the guys on your roster that can contribute to that potential success. Seven Bearcats are going to be returning. Also, you're welcoming seven newcomers. I do want to talk about the two JUCO transfers, Kai Mitchell and Chad Bowie. Can you just talk about the impact you expect them to make off the bat? Well, hopefully a, a big impact. Um, you know, anytime you lose a guy like Chris Galbraith, who was a first team all conference player, um, you know, you have to have somebody that can step in and, and, and fill that void. And both of those guys have had a really good summer and a real good preseason up until this point. Uh, Kai is a, you know, six, 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 seven power forward type player who fits well in the Southland Conference, being able to play inside and outside. And he brings some strength and some toughness that I think maybe uh, we missed a little last year late. In the season, and then Chad is uh, a little bigger point guard than we've had, which uh, I'm really excited about. He's done really well, shows real good leadership and toughness, and uh, I think he's going to have a really good season. You have some freshmen that are coming in as well. Cyrus Johnson, Xavier Bryant, Zach Natal, and I know that these guys want to make an immediate presence on the court, but you obviously have a successful system that works because you put together four 20-plus wins over the past five seasons. So what is the one thing that you plan on teaching them the most in order for them to be successful? Well, those three freshmen I'm excited about. Um, you know, Zach Natal has a chance to be one of the – better kids we've had in our program over the last eight or nine years I've been there. He's a really, really special player, um, but he's a freshman and, you know, that takes time. It's a new level, uh, learning the speed of the game and, you know, trying not to do too much. You know, when you're in high school, sometimes you can get away with doing things. And, um, and then Xavier is a point guard that I feel like, you know, the future could be really bright with him. And again, though, just learning, being under a guy like Chad every day, I think is going to be uh, beneficial for him. And then, uh, Cyrus was a late pickup for us in the summer. We're really excited about Cyrus. Uh, I haven't talked a lot about Cyrus's uh, family, but Cyrus's father, Marcus Johnson, uh, played for Coach Wooden wow. and is actually uh, the winner, the first winner of the John Wooden Award and was the third pick of the Milwaukee Bucks in 1977 and played in the NBA for a long time. So Cyrus has great bloodlines and we're excited. I think he's going to be a good player. But, you know, fitting those guys into a program with, uh, you know, seven returners, uh, has been a little bit easier, and I think the adjustment for them uh, won't have to be quite as fast as normal. Well, we're looking forward to seeing what kind of adjustment they do make. Let's go ahead and look at some of the key dates on your schedule at Louisiana Tech. Also, you head on the road to Clemson and Georgia, big non-conference opponents before you get into Southland Conference play. Abilene Christian for your Southland opener. Go ahead and talk about one of the things you're excited about the most that you see on this schedule. Uh, not, not too much at all. Uh, <laughs> I think last year we were, had the 55th hardest schedule in the country, I believe, wow. preseason. So, you know, this year looks to me just as strong as always. Uh, but, you know, that's what we do it for to prepare ourselves for conference play and that fifth, uh, January 5th game with Abilene Christian. And, uh, but, but I'm excited. You know, anytime you go into a season with seven new guys, there's a lot of cautious optimism there. Yeah. Uh, just, you know, looking forward to. Um, starting to play against somebody besides ourselves right now.